Hmm. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's get into it. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Erin. And today we're going to be getting into this bad boy. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Nautical Nonsense Palette, which is a Wet n Wild Times SpongeBob collaboration. I mean, here we go. Pretty palette, you guys. And this is so nostalgic for me. I grew up with SpongeBob. I mean, I know there are some people that don't enjoy or love spongebob as much as say you know someone like me would but i literally grew up watching spongebob from a very young age and he was always a staple cartoon character cartoon i would watch constantly old spongebob is gold you guys there are some really funny moments and even as an adult i will go back and watch episodes of spongebob it's just it's a go-to so when they were coming out with this i was like i've got to get at least one item out of this i did also have some spongebob sponges from um oh gosh who came out with those sponges for spongebob sponges that came out before with um I, I, the brand name is literally escaping me right now but i will pop it up um but i came out i got their sponges those sponges are okay but when wet and wilds they were coming out they also have sponges as well i just got the spongebob sponge i might go back and get the other sponges um but when it came on to ulta i just ran and got it real fast because i didn't want it to sell out so yeah we're gonna try out the palette today and we're gonna use the sponge as well and i'm just excited for this it's just a fun laid back easy video nothing too serious i mean it's a spongebob video i mean spongebob palette so um i haven't used any wet and wild shadows before either so this is going to be different for me but yeah i'm going to hop in i'm going to prime my eyes really quickly with this amuse cosmetics eye primer it's like a pot one i haven't used it in a while and i wanted to see you know if i still liked it you so. guys if you like channels that talk about movies and makeup ranking movies first time watches to movies and ranking makeup and trying makeup for the first time this is definitely the channel for you definitely think about subscribing down below hit the like button on this video and i will link some more playlists down in the description box so thank you so much for watching let's get into the eye look all right you guys i already went in with an eyeshadow primer i think i'm gonna start with this shade right here just putting that into the crease oh there's no mirror in here i was about to look in the mirror i will use the mirror in another palette to help me out i'll just use this empty palette that has some single shades in it so i'm just gonna place that shade into the crease like i said i've never used any wet n wild eyeshadows before i've got other wet n wild products that i really like um but never used any of their eyeshadows i've got a bronzer from them i really like which where is that bronzer actually i need to pull that thing out because i haven't used it in a long time so that shade uh, does not have a name on it. I don't think any of these shades have names on them, unless they're on the back. They're on the back, there they are. So that one is called Howdy Y'all, that little shade I just used right there. And then I think I'm gonna hop into, I don't know, there's not a lot of mattes in here. There's this matte, which is Howdy Y'all. There's this matte, which is Secret Formula, which does have an asterisk by it. So there are some eye safety warnings on some of these. Um, there is Sea Star which I believe is a matte, yeah, which also has an eye safety warning on it. Jelly, okay, no, these are not shimmer. I mean, these are not mattes, but they do have eye safety warnings on them. Jellyfish Jam, oh, that's, I love that name. And Gear Bear, oh, I love the names in these palettes, you guys. So it's just great. Mayonnaise, One Eternity Later, Tartar Sauce, uh, Shady Shoals, Bikini Bottom and I I Captain. I mean, that's just the first row right there is just a bunch of memories. I think I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called Sea Star, and I'm gonna put that into the crease and build that color up. So let's see if this sh these shadows have any true punch of pigment because that first shade, while nice, doesn't have a whole lot to show as far as for my skin tone because it blends right in. But that right there, okay, that's nice. Light, pretty, just like a wash of color at the moment, but I feel like I can build it up. Okay, I'm also gonna just take that color and 
drag it down to the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush though because I get afraid. I'm gonna use a thin brush here to do that. I'm just gonna drag it onto the lower lash line. And this brush is what I use to put my um, primer on my eye as well. So it's a bit messy there. All right. So like I said, nice wash of color. I feel like I could build it up a bit more, but I think I'm gonna move right along. And I think I'm gonna go into the shade. I don't know, should I go into this orange shade? It's called Pretty Patty. I think we can go into that orange shade a little bit. Add that in there as well. I am tapping off my brush because these are a bit powdery. And I'm just gonna build that sort of on the outer part. Give that orange tint there and then slowly take it over, lean in more into just the crease using the same brush. That's a pretty color. Again, also like a kind of more of a light wash of color. Definitely think you can get more of a soft look with these shadows. If I can move in closer for you guys, definitely more of a softer look. Okay, there we go. Um, let's head into something different. I think I want to go uh, with this darker brown shade here. Put that on more of the outer corner. I'm gonna use a flat shader like brush because I feel like this is more of a satiny shade. And I'm gonna just tap that on. And, oh, that's got some good pigment. Picks up easy as well on the brush. Okay, that works. I mean, I don't absolutely love that shade, but it did its job, let's say that. I'm gonna take, oh gosh, there's so many different shimmery shades in here. I really want to hop into that shade right there because it looks kind of strange. It's called, that one is Shady Shoals. So I think I'm going to hop into that one because it's kind of got like that marbling in there. And I want to see what that, what that does. So I think I'm going to take it on a different flat brush. <laughs> Dropped all my brushes. Okay. Come on, you guys. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take it onto a different flat brush. I'm gonna pick it up and try to, here we go. I think I will spray it, or should I see it? Let me see what it does without spray first. Yeah, no. Definitely might need some spray or finger. Let's try with the finger. That's my favorite way to go in with the shimmer. I'm gonna try with the finger. Oh yeah, that's better. What do we think? It is pretty, it is pretty. I wanna also, oh gosh, the shade right here is so pretty and sparkly as well. I kinda wanna see what that will look like just kind of topped over that shade. Uh, oh wow, now that one, ooh, that popped a punch. I'm just tapping that like right in the center and blending with my finger. Okay, that one punched more of a punch now. Okay. that's pretty I hope I wasn't just blocking my whole eye but that shade right there which is called tartar sauce packs a lot more of a punch on the eye with like the, the glittery sparkly in the shade oh wow okay I like this I was skeptical at first but it's cute let me finish off the lower lash line I'm gonna take some more of that orange shade from pretty patty and just sort of blend in the lower lash line just to sort of match the lid. 
and I don't think I want to put any shimmers down there although I am very curious as to what this shimmer looks like is gonna look like aye aye captain let's take a little bit of it this is just I'm not going anywhere this is just a spearmint let's see what that looks like I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna put it on the inner part of the lower lash line Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I'm gonna take it up, put it into the inner corner. Okay, that might be my favorite. I've got my sponge here. Now this is super cute. I almost don't wanna use it, it's so cute, but I've used my other SpongeBob sponge. Clean off pretty nicely, but I've never used, I don't think a wet and wild sponge either. So I love this, it's super cute. I love how they've got his face etched into the sponge. And let's see if the sponge is any good. I've never used a shape like this either. Ooh, maybe I should've used the back. But I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Foundation in the shade 315. Oh, it makes an imprint of his face. Probably didn't think about that when they were making the sponge, huh? Probably should've just kept this as a collectible, but hey, we don't buy things just to look at it, right? right not on this channel All right, so there's the foundation on with this sponge. I think it looks pretty well. I think the shape of it is not my favorite. Probably will, once I clean it, just kind of leave it as something in my collection. Of course, if I need it, I'll use it, of course. I think this side might've been good to use too. I didn't think about using the kind of beveled, curved side, but overall, I think it applies the foundation pretty much like any other sponge would. I think the hard thing about a sponge, like with this type of shape, is that it might leave like that line when you're going in, especially the etching in the sponge when I first applied it. But once you blended it out, you don't see that. But also like the sharp edges of the square shape, you might see like lines if you don't blend it well enough, like where the sponge is squared like that or rectangular shaped. But overall, a pretty good sponge. Wouldn't say it's my favorite type of sponge I've ever used. Um, I love the Shop Miss A Dollar sponges. Those are the best. I restock those on a regular when my sponges need to be, you know, replaced. But I think it's a nice sponge overall. So possibly maybe I'll pick up some more Wet n Wild sponges. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with that. I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and then come back with my final overall thoughts for these SpongeBob items. All right, you guys, here I am back with the final look. I went ahead and did the rest of the face, obviously, and using some products that I've just trying to hit pan on or use up. So I'm really enjoying this look so far. Actually, the more I look at the eyes, the more I like them. At first I was like, I don't know about these shimmers, but they're actually really pretty. I especially really, really love that, uh, I'm sorry, you guys, it just bothered me. That blue shade or like silvery blue shade, which is called Eye Eye Captain. That is so pretty. I want to put that all over my lid, which I'm definitely going to do uh, probably sometime this week, but that is just so pretty. The, um, that shade right here, oop, the first shimmer I use, it's nice. It didn't blow me away called Shady Shoals. And then Tartar Sauce. Oh my gosh, that one is gorgeous as well. So I think overall, I think the ones that I did use, I really like. But those two, so Shady Shoals and, I mean, uh, Tartar Sauce and I Eye Captain are really, really pretty. And then the mattes were serviceable. They blended nicely, no issues with them. They built up nicely, pretty nice color payoff in the crease. This shade right here is the only one that I did not love. I feel like it just looks a little bit patchy, kind of blended away and it just, it didn't do it for me. So yeah, maybe that one's not gonna be one I'm gonna dip into often, but it is one of the deeper shades in the palette. I wonder how this one will work. I'll have to try it out. Um, and some of these other ones are calling to me too, like that green shade, this pinky shade here. Um, I think these are pressed glitters. I'm probably not gonna pop into those at all, but 
overall i'm really excited to own this palette and it's just going to be a fun collection uh item to my collection i really do enjoy this it. just personal preference i really do enjoy palettes based off of tv shows and movies because that's a huge part of my channel as well so whenever i can you know uh, review one it's just a lot of fun for me so I think what I'm gonna do now is end with some swatches just because I didn't get to play with all the shades and just for you guys so you guys can see how these shades look on my skin tone or if you want to just see how they swatch or whatever I think that's a good way to end the video so I'm just gonna go right into the shades and swatch them on the arm so I'm going into the shade first called mayonnaise mayonnaise and I'm just gonna go across the row so that's that one the next shade is the shade that is called One Eternity Later. Again, I love these names. So I'm gonna hop, put that one there. That one's pretty, fairly light. For me, I would maybe use that as a transition shade. Then we're going into Tartar Sauce, which is the one I really liked when I topped it over that other. Oh, that's so sparkly and pretty. Wow. Um, the next one is Shady Shoals, and I'm just kind of wiping my fingers off as I go. See, that one's pretty. It's just something about the formula there. Not my favorite. Something, I think maybe because it's one of those marble shades, and maybe they just did not get it right. Um, the next shade here is this blue shade, which is another one that really called to me. It's called Bikini Bottom, which is perfect, and it has a jellyfish imprint in it which I think is beautiful. That one also, ooh, that one's kind of dry feeling, but it has a good sparkle to it. Okay, that one's pretty, That that's pretty. It just, I think it could be a bit more popping. You know what I'm saying? Like how it looks in the pan. And then, oh gosh, no fingers that are clean. Let's get those cleaned off. And then the shade that really blew me away that's on my lower lash line which is called about an eye eye captain eye eye captain yeah these are definitely more dry definitely use a wet brush or glitter glue because they're kind of flaky as well or the glitters are getting everywhere that is just pretty though i mean that is so gorgeous all right so that's the first row let's go to the second right, row. hopping right into the second row i'm going into the shade sea star which also has a jellyfish imprint in it it's just a nice pretty um corally shade the next one is called best day ever and it is a green shade it has a seaweed plant imprint in it it's kind of like a lime oh that's pretty too like a lime green that's pretty okay wet and wild i see you guys with the colors and the shimmeriness that i love all right the next two shades are called square pants and pretty patty which i did use pretty patty in this look I also used Sea Star, which is that coral shade. So this one is Square Pants. Okay, that one, hmm. I'm gonna build it up a little bit. All right, it's serviceable. I think the one named Square Pants could be a little more poppy there. And then Pretty Patty here is the orange matte that I also put on the lid. I'm gonna build it up just a bit. There we go. Okay, not bad there. And actually, I feel that one has quite a bit of good pigment. All right, the last two on the second row are called Jellyfish Jam and Gare Bear. So Jellyfish Jam is sort of like a mauve pink, a little deeper. It has some of those little, I don't even know what those are called. Are those flowers that we see all over uh, SpongeBob? Huh. Okay, I was expecting more color from just the first but once you build it up, it's pretty. Oh, that's that's a pretty color. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Okay, that's Jellyfish Jam. And then this last one here, um, I just said it, Gare Bear. Okay, so Gare Bear is here, and that's, is that a matte? Because it looks like a satin shade in the pan. No, that is kind of coming off as a matte. So, could have used that as well on the lid. But that's the second row, starting there. Very pretty. All right, let's go into the last row. I think I'm gonna clean my arm off and do the last one. So, all right, you guys, let's go to the last row. I did clean off my arm. There's a little bit of glitter on there though, if you see glitter specks. Okay, so this one is called, oh gosh, I just read it, Howdy Y'all. Okay, so that's the little Sandy Cheeks nod. This is the first shade I used to kind of just set 
And then this one is called Me Money. It's a green shade. Oh, that is quite a dry feeling to the touch. I'm trying not to go over the top of the other one because I can't really see it. But yeah, that one. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. It's definitely, definitely, like I said, use some kind of glitter glue or something with these shades because they're quite drying and then they're also very sparkly but flaky in a way. So definitely not a glitter glue, maybe like spray the brush or just be careful when you're applying it. The next two shades are glitters. I don't even know if there's a point in swatching those. Order up. I'll go ahead and see. Order up. Yeah, I mean. And then the pinky glitter one is Absorb the Love. Not really any point in swatching these glitters, but I'll go ahead and just put them on the arm just for continuity's sake, I guess. So since we're going through all of them. Um, and then the last two shades are going to be Load of Barnacles, which is that one. I don't even think I said the shade name when I was putting it on. And Secret Formula. So here's Load of Barnacles, which also has an imprint in it. Yeah, okay. Swatch is better than I feel like it applies. Maybe I was applying it with the wrong brush. I'm probably gonna need to apply that one with a different brush next time because the swatch is better than how it looks, in my opinion, on the eye. And then the last shade, um, I just said it, Secret Formula, which does have an eye safety warning and has a jellyfish imprint in the pan. Okay, yeah, that deeper shade. See, sometimes with deeper shades, they can get patchy and I can feel like that's pretty pigment, but I feel like if you're putting it on the eye, it might be hard to blend. If you take it slow, it'll be okay. So that's the last row of this palette. It's washed out, you guys. Um, wow, I'm surprised, actually. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, uh, albeit I only used so many shades. But I think that overall, I like this palette so far from just a first impression. I'm definitely gonna keep using it and give you guys a final thoughts about it. I'm thinking of starting to do on my channel where I just round up for the month. So. Um, this will probably, if I end up doing that video, don't hold me accountable if I don't, um, I'll put that in there and just kind of update you guys on my final thoughts on it after I've used it uh, a couple more times. But overall, I really enjoyed the eye look today and I enjoyed the shadows. And so that's going to be it for this video today. Um, overall, I think the palette is definitely worth picking up if you're wanting a color store like this or you're a Spongebob fan. If not, then obviously don't, but it's an affordable palette and overall, I, I liked it. The sponge, I like just because, again, the nostalgia factor and it's SpongeBob shaped. I don't like the shape of the sponge actually within itself though, like the square shape of the sponge. I don't find it very practical, at least for how I do my makeup, but I think the sponge is fun. So that's why I picked it up. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you in some way or you got some kind of entertainment out of it. Definitely hit the like button if you care to do so. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it also if you did because it helps my channel grow and within the algorithm system, you know, you know how it is. And if you like this type of content or movie reviews, like I said at the beginning, definitely think about subscribing to my channel. Check out some more videos down that I will link in the description box and I will check you out in the next video. Stay safe. Adios.